<laughs> You've given him a hug for playing the drums for a long time? <laughs> yeah, no, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's John Roderick, everybody. Sorry, so I, I just want to throw this out. So we're doing this song because of the guy who played drums on it, who is a guy, last time I said nobody had heard of this, this person, and you haven't, so maybe you have heard of this person. Do, do people know who Hal Blaine is? Yeah, so Hal Blaine was a session drummer in Los Angeles, and Hal Blaine has played on more number one records than any person in history. And he, he died uh, literally while we were on this cruise. And so I promise that all of you in your Spotify playlists have 50 songs that Hal Blaine played drums on. Played the drums on all the Beatles records. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That was Bernard Kirby. That was Hal Star, okay? okay. So, Simon and Garfunkel, Led Zeppelin, uh, uh, White Stripes. Yeah, be My Baby. That's right. That's right. Right, be my baby. Every every Phil Spector record, you know, the Birds, Mr. Tambourine Man, the Ramones, <laughs> the Boxer by Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> in the late sixties and early seventies, he was the uh, drummer on the Grammy Record of the Year for five years running. Wow. So what you got? Him? He played drums on this record. Okay. He played on every Bon Jovi record. <laughs> was uh, uh, was an original member of Till Tuesday. <laughs> Compliment to the drumming until Tuesday. Here we go. What are we doing? <laughs> let's, let's do a song Hal Blaine played drums on. Let's do uh, let's do Natural Woman again. Actually, let me get out of here.
I genuinely wasn't sure if, if we were ever going to get out of that zone. that was going to end. It seemed like it was going to go off for a it long time. Somewhere, this, in the, somewhere in the multiverse, that song's still going. <laughs> I'm starting to think, this is how I die. Woo! <laughs> uh, Boy, if you guys are having half as much fun as we are, you are really enjoying this show. <laughs>